Hey y'all. So it's a different location. I'm at work. Um, I just wanted, um, while I'm waiting on my cousin, I just wanted to go ahead and get at least one of these videos out the way. So this episode of um, Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, it was a pretty good episode. Um, the ladies actually got along. It was nice to see. Everybody was cool. Um, yeah, everybody was getting along. Everybody was bonding. Kenya wasn't being too petty this episode uh, because Mark shut that down, child. The way Mark came on through in the end. Kenya, how could you allow such an asshole to continue to affect you in that way? Like, child, I, I don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe. Um, I, I, I didn't feel bad. I, I mean, I feel bad for her in general. Because Mark is just a nasty individual. But I don't understand how you can marry somebody who you act like you hate. Like, he acted as... He, the way he talked to Kenya, it's as if he never loved her, liked her, nothing. Like, he, like she was an enemy. Like, she like she uh, uh, ran over his, his puppy when they was little. And he never got over it. Yeah, like, like you made a baby with this woman. I don't get it. I don't get it. But, um, so they played a game. They were sitting at the table, um, with the drinks. And this is actually <coughs> Luann's game. <coughs> and, um, she had, uh, you know, basically wrote down a bunch of questions. And, um, you know, each lady had, they pulled a card and then they read. Kenya said that, um, what's the hardest part about reality television? That was her question. And, uh, well, no, how did she handle social media, I think. And she said that um, there was a lot that was going on, especially her first season. And um, people saying that she paid for Walter, you know, for Walter to talk to her and all that kind of stuff. And she said it was super difficult for her. Um... Ramona's question uh, was something like, how has it affected your kids or something, you being on TV? And uh, she said her little girl loved it. She was, she just tried, she just could not figure out why she wasn't a star like her mama was. Could you imagine having uh, Ramona as a mama? Exhausting. Ooh. Um, and she's the oldest one, Ramona. She's just exhausting and, and just all over the place. Imagine her being younger. Jesus. Luann had a good question. Um, she said, you know, basically it was something about, you know, just not letting this reality show stuff break you. And, you know, that's something I respected because even though it's, it's my job to sit on here and talk crap about these um, reality shows, one thing I want to make clear is that I'm specifically talking about the person on the reality show, the edited version of this person and this person's role on the show. I'm never talking about anybody personally because I don't know these people personally. I'm sure they're lovely people. But I have opinions on the, the person that I'm sitting here looking at for however long, for however many weeks on this show. These, what, 30 minutes of this show, you know, without commercials. So that's what, I, that's what I'm judging. It's never personal, you know, but I do understand how people's feelings and stuff could be hurt. If I was on a reality show and people reacted to me a certain kind of way, I'm sure I would, my feelings would be hurt and I'll feel some kind of way. But once I see my check, I'm pretty sure I'll get over it. I'm pretty sure. Um, but no matter how much money you're making, sometimes if, it's, if things are so negative all the time, it does play um, a role. It, it does you know, mess with your psyche a little bit because it's like, dang, you know, it's all about the lighting, y'all, and everything that's going on. This was the only way I could prop my phone up and actually record. Um, so what else happened? Um, the rest of the questions didn't really matter. So Melissa, she decided to have a, like a little slumber party um, situation. And um, it was cute. You know, she had pajamas for everybody. Uh, Kenya ended up getting the best room. I didn't know that. I thought it was Ramona. So she rubbed her cat all across the bed, but it was actually Kenya that got the best room. Um, so, you know, it was, it was cute. Um, that was when, when I first started this video, what I was talking about, when Kenya said that um, 
Mark had, you know, said what he said and did what he did, the lovely Mark, um, that, you know, hurt her feelings and stuff like that. So, you know, she was upset. She got mad at Cynthia because Cynthia had the camera crew behind her. So Kyle had knocked on the door first to check on Kenya. And there was no camera crew, but the camera crew was following Cynthia, and she just followed her in there to see what was going on, because Kenya was taking forever, like she always do. And she told me, oh, Cynthia, you don't have to bring the camera crew in here. This is a Cynthia didn't know what the hell was going on, girl. Shut up. Like, she, any, any gaslighting moment, any chance that she has to embarrass Cynthia, that's what she's going to do. I have a friend that's the same way with me. Any chance that he gets to try to come for me or try to make me look stupid in front of people or anything like that, he's gonna take it. Absolutely, you know. And when I get my money, yeah, it's a wrap, it's a wrap. But until I get my money, I, I gotta play it cool because he owe me money. Anyway, um, what else is going on? So Kenya finally came out of her quarters, child, and they was playing, um, I forgot the name where it's the dots, the colorful dots on the mat. And, you know, I forgot the name of that game. I never liked that game. I would always catch cramps trying to bend like a pretzel. To what I look like. I'm too thick. I'm too thick around the thighs to be doing all that. So, um, you know, all the ladies was drinking and stuff. And uh, they played beer pong. But with, um, was it liquor? It was liquor or champagne. And, um, and you know, it was bouncing the ball and stuff. It was fun. And. Uh, they had to answer questions. It was just a fun ass game, and you know, I have a um, little situation with my sister in laws um, that's coming up a little party, and um, we're gonna try. Well, I'm gonna bring that up to them. You know, we can try. You know, certain games and stuff like that. Cause it'd be fun to do. I think that was it, y'all. Did anything else happen? Let me think. Mm -hmm. As much as we appreciate the mess and the drama of these shows, we also appreciate episodes like this where the ladies actually you know get along and have a, um, a good old time and Teresa Teresa's so in love it's, it's cute I really hope the whole situation with Teresa works out because Lord knows if it don't work out with that man they are gonna grill her ass and nail her to the coffin they really is anyway though with that said I'm Mr. Chalaki Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus Follow me uh, at this Kings World uh, at It's Kings World on Instagram and Twitter at It's Kings World eighty nine on Snapchat, Chase King on Facebook, Mister Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal, and as always, run me my money or run me my fade, run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. I'll see you guys later.